On the fourth Sunday of Advent, we hear the story of St. Joseph. And St. Joseph often gets left on the sidelines of the Advent and Christmas season, since it focuses more on Mary and the Annunciation. But in Matthew's Gospel, we hear how the angel appears to Joseph to reassure him to take Mary as his wife. And we never can underestimate the leap of faith that that took on Joseph's part. Joseph was being asked to trust in something that was seemingly impossible. After all, how many men would believe their fiancé when they told them that they were pregnant by the power of God? Joseph was being asked to raise a son that he knew wasn't his own. Joseph was being asked to put aside everything he had been raised with, the Jewish law, his manly pride, his sense of right and wrong, and to trust in what was seemingly impossible. But there's a wonderful line in the Gospel that tells us when Joseph awoke, he took Mary into his home and did as the angel said. We don't know a lot about St. Joseph. There's actually no words in the Gospel that are recorded that he ever said. But we know from that line that he was a man of great faith who was willing to trust even when it seemed impossible. In these last few days of Advent, as we get ready to celebrate Christmas, we could learn much from St. Joseph. Because many times God asks us to trust in the seemingly impossible as well. Many times God asks us to take a leap of faith where we're not sure where we're gonna land. But let Joseph inspire us and remind us that when we trust in God more than ourselves, when we put our faith and confidence in what God's asking, even when we don't know where it's gonna lead us, great things happen. For it was by Joseph's trust that Jesus was brought into the world, that Jesus was made a son of David, that Jesus was protected and nurtured as he grew to become our savior. My friends, when we do the same thing like Joseph, to trust in God, to put our confidence in him, even when there's more questions than there are answers, then like Joseph, God can continue to do great things through us. Not preaching at you, but just giving you something to think about.